Hello friends, my name is Eron Costin. I'm an architect from Brazil and this is my first video recorded in English so I'm sorry about some mistakes. In this tutorial I will show you how to export complex model, models from 3DX Max to Revit without showing the edges of the model in Revit which is uh, in fact a very boring problem so I will uh, explain how to solve this with a little trick using the 3DX Max for that. So I have a, a model of a plane. I modeled it in using the 3DX mod, uh, 3DX Max, which is a very easy way of modeling complex things like a plane, for instance. And the first thing you got to do is to reduce the number of polygons because we will choose the DXF files and it has some limitations. It cannot export more than 32,000 faces, so I will choose the model of the plane. I'm going to the Modify panel and choose Pro Optimizer, which is a tool that reduces the faces of your model and I'm going to calculate. If I press uh, the number 7, I see that I have indeed 88,000 polygons, so I will reduce this about 20%. Now I have 16,000 polygons. This is okay to export. The next thing you got to do is to convert this model to editable mesh so right click over the model convert to editable mesh then in the modify panel choose edge select all the edges of the model and go down in the modify panel and choose invisible so this is the tip that solves the problem of visibility of these triangles in Revit. But you got to do one more thing. If you turn all the triangles invisible in 3DX Max, you won't be capable of selecting this model in Revit. So what you got to do is select some triangles of this model. For instance, some triangles of the wheel of the plane here in the base and turn these triangles, these edges visible here. Okay, now you will be capable of selecting this model. If you want to that, you won't be you won't see your model so you won't be able of selecting it in Revit. The next thing you got to do is export this model Go into the application button, export, export, choose a place, desktop for instance, choose the autocad.dxf uh, files, choose a name, and save it. Please choose autocad 2007 dxf format, OK. Now, if you are planning to change the material and the layer the, the layer color of this object in the raft, so you must go first to the AutoCAD. So let's open the AutoCAD, open the file, the DXF file, where you put it, in my case, in this in the desktop, DXF. Yeah, if you want, you are not seeing the, uh, the model that you saved here, you can change the files of type to the DXF. All right, open. Now, the plane is invisible. The only uh, part of it that you can see is the bottom part of the wheel, so you can select it. All right, now you see the entire plane. Uh, here, you must create a new layer over here new layer plane 
for instance I will choose a color white okay so I will select the plane again and put it in this new layer that I I've created right now then choose all the other options over here by layer by layer and by layer this tip is in order to allow you to change the color and the, the layer color and the material of this object in Raft I will show you in a few moments how you can make it so the next step is the application button save as AutoCAD choose again the AutoCAD 2007 DXF you can uh, let the same name run here save all right now you can go to Revit choose a new file here you can go to the home tab component model in place choose the family category in my case I want find the plane category because I have don't have it but I can choose the generic models okay choose a name plane for instance okay the next thing to do is to go to the insert tab link cat the link cat allow you to uh, reload the model in the future if you change it so I will find this model in the desktop, DXF, choose the import units, in my case centimeter, positioning it in the out origin to origin, open it. And here we are with the model of the plane. Finish over here. And what you have is the planification of this plane. If you go to the 3D you will see only the boundary of the model not the entire mesh which is a very cool thing you can go to the elevations south for instance and you see the elevation of this plane in the site you will have a plan view of this model so if you we will use it for rendering. You can choose the material of this plane. Going to the manage menu, uh, object styles, imported objects. Here you find the plane layer. You can choose uh, change the material over the column material. Press over it. Press the button to choose the new material. I will choose metal chrome for instance okay okay and now if i press the render button i you, i will change this settings for medium and render and what you got here is a, a very cool image of your plane All right. You can also uh, do some planifications of your model. Go into the section, create a new section, crossing your model, just like that. Open it, and what you have here is the section of your model. You can do it in the other orientation. All right, I will open it, and what you have is the section of your very complex model. So I hope you enjoyed enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Eron Costin. See you on next.